The way recursive formulas work is if I have pt equals pt minus 1 plus 8, it means my current value of p at time t is equal to the previous value of p plus 8. So if I know that p0 is 29, what's p1 and what's p2? So p of 1 is equal to p of 1 minus 1 plus 8. Well, p of 1 minus 1 is p of 0, because 1 minus 1 is 0, plus 8. I know what p0 is. That's 29. So I'm going to add 8 to it. So that means that p1 is equal to 37. For p2, this is equal to 2 minus 1 plus 8, or p of 1 plus 8. Well, p of 1 I just found, it's 37, and now I'm going to add 8 to it, so that's 45.